how to reactivate Facebook Ads Manager and run ads starting today. Congrats, welcome, you've made it to this video. My name is Brian Kane, and I wanna take away some of your frustrations. Maybe you've had a ads account disabled or completely banned like a whole business manager banned like I did. Well, let's go ahead and see if we can get it back today, hopefully within minutes of watching this video. My name is Brian Kane, and so the quick story is, I've run a lot of products over the years, done affiliate marketing, and I've even done like network marketing and got a whole bunch of ads approved. I, I rarely get any ads disapproved. Well, I got into a new industry with CBD oil, hemp-based, um, little to trace amounts, no THC, like it doesn't get you high. Um, it's it's one of it's it's legal in like all 50 U.S. states, and so I figured I'd give this product a try on Facebook. Well, Facebook didn't like it so much. I got one disapproved ad, and the one disapproved ad not only disabled my ads account, but it disabled my business manager, all of my accounts all at the same time. And so even though I'm smiling in this picture, I was actually completely frustrated that I wasn't able to run ads anymore. And this Facebook profile, the one that I had that created the ads and business manager, it got completely banned. Not the ads account, but the whole business manager. And as you can see from this red error message, your business account is prohibited from advertising. Well, if you believe this is a mistake, you can request a review. So I, I click that blue link. I go and fill out the form, select my business manager account. Are you an admin of the business account in question? Yes. And then you start filling out the form. And as a quick piece of advice to maybe get it appealed in this way, you want to let them know that you reread the terms and conditions. You want to be always polite, very appreciative of their support. Um, you want to let them know what the infraction was. Like you want to tell them what the infraction was and let them know that um, you apologize, you reread the terms and conditions, and that um, you're willing to clean up any of the activity and make sure that's 100% compliant. And even, even after all of that, after multiple attempts, I kept receiving messages like this, where it was a complete copy and paste response, and I felt like they spent no time reviewing the account whatsoever because they would send me this response back sometimes within like five minutes. And it would say like, please consider this decision final. I've had another look at the ad account. Unfortunately, we won't be able to re-enable it, but it's a copy and paste message. And I don't believe that they spent any time at all. So don't expect Facebook to um, spend a lot of time on this, but no worries. So let's, let's get started on the steps to get up and running in minutes using the same Facebook profile. Here are the steps. Step number one, create a second personal Facebook profile. Step number two, add the second profile to the business account. We'll explain more about this in a moment. Step number three, remove your main profile from the business manager ads account. Step number four, once removed, you can go back to business.facebook.com and create a new account. So let's go through it. Step number one, pretty self-explanatory. Um, you just go to facebook.com, make sure that you're not logged in, create a new account with new email, and this can be a profile with the same name, but really the account is just a placeholder in case you wanna try appealing this specific ads account again in the future and it's just a way to at least be able to log in to the account. Step number two is you're gonna add this second profile to the business account. And you'll do this by going into the business settings. You'll click on, or at least go to the user section. You'll click on people. And then under people, you'll see a blue add button. You're gonna click that add button Fill in the email address of the second Facebook profile. Make sure that admin access is all on so that we have full access. Uh, click next and go ahead and add it to the account and get it verified. Step number three, you're gonna remove your main profile from the business manager ads account. And you'll do this by going into the left-hand side under business info. And, um, and so there's gonna be two things that look like you can leave where one's gonna say like, um, delete the business manager. Well, if your account is disabled, it's probably gonna prevent you from disabling the whole or deleting the whole account. But if you scroll down a little bit more, um, in this specific screenshot, I couldn't show it to you just because I already did it. And this is the only profile I had left on there. Under my info, there's going to be a button that will say leave and then whatever the name of the ads account is. So for me, it was like leave BC marketing or something like that. You click leave, enter in your Facebook password one last time from your main profile that you want to create the new account on. And just like that, it'll remove it. So then 
what I would recommend is logging out of Facebook one more time, logging back in, maybe even um, restarting the web browser, clearing the cache. And then once removed, you can go back to business.facebook.com and create a new account. And you're going to want to make sure to use a different company email. So like if you have the at like companydomain.com, please don't use that again. <laughs> you, you might want to stick with a Gmail or a different domain to open up the account. And to be extra safe, you're going to want to use different billing information, whether that's um, a billing address, maybe a different credit card on file. Um, the more that you can like switch up the information, the safer that you will be. And I hope that helps. So I hope after this short six, six and a half minute video that um, you now have your ads account up and running. And again, my name is Brian Kane. You can actually click the link down in the description if you want to find out what we're doing or how we're um, being able to crush it the way that we do. If you want to subscribe now, I've got more content coming. And I hope that this one helped you a lot. There's going to be a lot more helpful content over the course of the next few weeks, over the course of the next few months, over the course of the next few years. So go ahead, subscribe now. Let's get connected. I look forward to seeing you on the next video, my friend. Take care.